If you like retro games and you also like to tinker, stick around. I think I've found something that you might like. <laughs> the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? So this isn't a regular vlog, but this is something that I just had to share with you guys. As most of you know, the older game systems didn't come with wireless controllers. It wasn't a technology that was very reliable at the time. And the attempts at uh, wireless controllers used uh, infrared signal, which uh, kind of needed to have a line of sight in order to work. Unlike today's technology with Bluetooth, where you it doesn't rely on line of sight as much as... What the hell does Bluetooth rely on? A while back I also did a uh, unboxing video of a product by 8BitDo. The uh... What is it? Dumpy, why do you have my controller? Give it back. <laughs> you almost hit me in the face. Anyway, this is my 8 bitdo Pro Controller that I use with my Switch. I can also use it with my Retron 5 or an NES system if I use this dongle. The way it works is it sends a Bluetooth signal from one thing to the other. Well, that's all well and good, but what if you have a particular controller that you have a liking to? Like, you have a favorite controller, but you also like the idea of that controller being wireless. Well, 8BitDo has you covered, because they've just come out with DIY kits for converting your controllers to Bluetooth. Now, it's literally just a pre-made circuit board with, I assume, a battery pack and all that good stuff added to it. All you have to do is open up your old controller, take the board out, put the new board in, and button it back up, and it's that easy. And they have kits for the original NES, the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, they, but you gotta also watch out because they also have specific kits for the NES and SNES classics. I'm not sure why they're that different, but uh, I'm not an expert. I'm also not sponsored, I'm just doing this because I thought it was cool and I wanted to share it. And you bet your sweet hiney that I'm gonna be ordering a couple kits myself. I'd reach out to 8 Bit Doe and see if they'd send me some for review, but, uh, my channel's small and doesn't have a whole lot of reach. Besides that, between contacting them and just plain out ordering a kit or two, ordering the kit would probably be faster. And these aren't, like, expensive kits either. They're 20 bucks a pop, so it's a, it's a reasonable price, and it's worth a shot to me. It, it's worth checking out. And you know that when I get these kits, I'm going to do a video on putting them together and testing it out, and give you my two cents on that. If you're interested, keep an eye out for that video. And if you liked this video, let me know by giving that like button a bop, leave some comments down below, let me know what you think about these, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze. Once again, we'd like to remind you the Unamazing Rando is not sponsored by 8-Bit Doe, he just thinks their stuff is really, really cool.